Hi guys, today I want to build a new 7 inch quad. All these parts were sent to me by iFlight, so first of all big thanks to them for supporting me and sending me their state of the art parts. I'm gonna make this build very quick, I don't want to waste too much time, so if there's any question just please leave me a comment below and I try to answer it as soon as possible. First of all, what parts are we going to use today? We got the flight controller Revo B32 F4 Pro. It's a soft mounted gyro, it's an ICM gyro inside, capable of 32K. It supports 3 to 6S LiPos. It got a 5 volt 1 amp back with LC filter integrated. It got a current meter, OSD, an SD card reader. And um, the cool part is we got ESC telemetry that's the XL7 it's actually a copy of the XL5 I've been using that for a while now it's a pretty good frame it's exactly the same just the arms are longer we're talking about the 7 inch frame here with 281 millimeters we got 4 millimeter arms we got a 3 millimeter top plate I never broke one of these on my XL5 by the way we got a top mount battery uh, it's 3k carbon and it weighs approximately 108 grams. We got those cool motors. They're 2506, 2450 kV and they're massive. They're really massive. I can show you compared to my Emacs 2306. They're really big and actually really heavy. They got 43 grams on my scale and I also tried my new LS 2207 so we got 35, 37, 43 grams that's far the heaviest. These motors come with screws, actually pretty long screws, I tried them to use with the 4mm arms. They just went through the mounts here but they didn't touch the windings. As I looked at the windings I saw something else, take back my RS2306, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks completely different, here we got this very fine, very thin windings, and actually a lot, and here compared to the Emacs motors, we got very strong windings in there, not that thin. The Emacs motors. The magnets are not as strong as here. It's a lot more rigid, especially my 2207. It's pretty hard to turn those things. Different with these motors, they almost spin by themselves. So I'm pretty curious to test them. 45 amps. Capable 3 to 6S BL Heli 32 D Shot 1200, and they got a little RGB LED over here. Gonna be fun to set that up. I prepared already three of them. All of these parts come in handy box. Like that's our ESC box. They come with cables motor box our race cam let's see how it works it's actually mini cam but you got this adapter it's capable of 5 to 40 volts if you want to change your OSD settings you gotta unplug this cable and get this little mood out jump back to our flight controller it comes with this little manual Apparently mine is in Chinese, I got the Chinese version. You gotta choose if you wanna run the ESC telemetry. You gotta choose if you wanna have VBAT on your camera and VTX or 5 volts. And if you wanna have 3 or 5 volts, um, add the 3 or 5 volts pin. Those pins are pretty small actually and you gotta short circuit them just put some solar there so that's pretty straightforward actually we got our buzzer we got SBUS 
we got one of the TX. TX6 would be UR6, so I'm going to connect my smart audio somewhere there. We got the ESC pads, ground signal, also like I mentioned before, the current meter you could connect to your ESC to your flight controller directly. That's basically it. I'm not sure why this has to be on the left side. I mean, if you get stuck with that cable somewhere, it's gonna rip it apart. I would prefer to see that either in the front or in the back, but it's another thing, maybe it was just not possible, but let's try it like this. The flight controller is so far ready, prepared for my ESCs. I didn't remove the flux yet, I gotta remove that afterwards. I just connected my receiver, it's a FreeSky receiver. I connected the smart port to my TX3 and my s -Bus to my RX6. So next step I'm gonna remove the flux and then connect the ESCs. Alright guys. Let's try. Do we have fire? No fire. Alright, everything got it. Okay, let's have a look. 